Pastor George Borkard, and this is another Higher Things video short. What your pastor and church needs. And it's not what you think. That's the subject of the day's Higher Things video short. If you're a young person, if you're an older person like me, pastor, parish, uh, uh, youth leader, parent, like, subscribe, ring the bell, donate. Help us to pass the faith on to the next generation. That's what we're all about. That's why we do videos. That's why we have articles on our website, passing the faith on. Like, subscribe, ring the bell, donate. Today. Your pastor and your church need something from you. That's not what you think it is. Sure, they need your offerings. Sure, they need your prayers. Sure, your church needs your volunteerism. And your pastor could use you not micromanaging him. Micromudgent? Is that uh, what Jim calls it on the office? But more than that, or what the world would think is less than that, is that your pastor needs, your church needs, the same forgiveness, the same mercy, the same love that God in Christ has given you. A lot of times we think that pastor and church are places where mercy just sort of flows from Jesus to you. We hold them to higher standards. We expect more. And sometimes they are more. But sometimes they're not. Because pastors are sinners, and because there are sinners at church, those are places that need extra mercy and love and forgiveness from you. And yes, sometimes you may feel like, of all the people to do X, Y, and Z to me, I never thought my church would do this, or my pastor. That's true. Which means you should be more merciful and kind. Because God in Christ can say, of all the people that I thought would do X, Y, and Z to me, I didn't expect you to do it. I didn't expect you to nail nails into my son's hands and feet. I didn't expect you to deny him in order to go to get ahead in this world. I didn't expect you to judge others who have I have forgiven. Your pastor, your church, needs forgiveness and mercy. When your pastor fails, absolve him. Heck, catch it every time you walk out of church. I have parishioners, thank God for them, who catch me every time. Pastor, I just want to tell you that Jesus forgives you. Every single Sunday. And if they don't, I grab them and say, will you come back and tell me about the grace and mercy of God? Because I need to hear it too. And churches are filled with sinners who have flare-ups. And they do stupid and hurtful things. And the only hope that they have is for you to show mercy. You to show love. I guess your pastor needs you to treat him and the church that you attend with the same mercy and grace that you expect God to treat you in. I'm never going to that church again because that blasted person, usually it's the pastor, usually it's me. Forgiveness, mercy, grace from Jesus to you, and from you to others. And on the last day, as you stand before the throne of God, surrounded by the people who hurt you in church, you won't care. Because you'll be there. No, 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 no. No, you won't care because he'll be there, bearing those scars that he won your salvation with. 
Your church, your pastor, needs the same Jesus that goes into your ears. The same mercy that you receive. The same grace that God gives to you. Because we're all sinners. We all need Jesus. I'm Pastor George Borkart, and this has been another Higher Things Video Short.